How you doing and welcome to another episode of Collecting with Rob. I'm so excited to be showing off my new home theater today. Uh, this is what I've been working on the past, I'd say, month. Uh, so let's show it off. It's it's a pretty nice small home theater. Uh, first time I ever did a project like this, so I'm very excited. So first off, let's show you what I put up here for a little backdrop. We got that nice piece, frame piece uh, from Christopher Lloyd. Uh, Michael J. Fox, Tom Wilson, and Leah Thompson, my cast piece jacket I put on the back. Um, as far as chairs, I got these nice, beautiful chairs. Um, they come with uh, really nice recliners. Um, it does massage. It does uh, heated seats. Really cool movie theater quality seats. Very nice. Um, I made like a little bit of a rug I have here, which basically um, kind of keeps that movie theater theme. Uh, on the side here, I decided to add uh, some Star Wars, so we put some Harrison Ford. We got his autograph here, this nice framed piece. And then I decided to do a little bit of a Wonka cast piece, signed by, you know, all the children and Gene Wilder. We got this over here. Uh, so that's what we have on this side. On the other side of the I wall, decided to put the Scarface, another iconic movie. Put that right there, cast piece. I decided to add George Lucas. His autograph right there. Being that he's a legend, Star Wars, had to add him. And then I added this nice, awesome, one of my favorite frame pieces of True Grit from four Oscar nominees uh, slash winners. And, you know, an Oscar nominated movie, great movie. So this has got some Jeff Bridges, you know, Haley. It's got um, Matt Damon and, of course, Josh Brolin. So it's epic piece. Moving on, uh, I made a little concession stand. Got some, uh, you know, got your Chips Ahoy, got your Swedish Fish. Some Dots, Junior Mints, some Reese's, some Chuckle Candies, uh, Tootsie Roll, got some Gummy Worms there, Candy Cigarettes, uh, if you remember those from back in the day. Uh, a little bit of a popcorn machine, we got the different uh, kennel corn, we got the butter. Down here we got some of my movies I put here, and then right over here to the left, I added a little bit of my game gaming area, which is, has uh, Pac-Man. Uh, so this is, you know, one of those arcade one-up machines added that. For curtains, I want to drown out the light, so I got these, you know, anti-light curtains. And then I put a bunch more of my movies here. 4Ks, pretty much my top movies. 4Ks, Blu-rays, things like that right here. And you got a bunch here, and then I have a bunch more movies downstairs, which is like a library full of movies. One day I can show all my DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks. Um, but again, that's going to take a long time to go through them all. But if you want to see that, put that in the comments and we can show off all the movies. Uh, but now the important thing is this is with the lights on. Let's show you what the projector looks like with the lights on. And then we'll show you what it looks like with it all. Here's the setup right here. So we got the, we got the laser TV, 100 inch screen. Beautiful picture. And this is with the lights on. I mean, look at the picture with the lights on. The projector, this quality projector is insane. I mean, usually you need to dim the lights to see it, but this is really good quality right here, even with the lights on. So I'm very happy with this projector already. I uh, installed uh, some speakers, as you can see here. You know, it's just a sound bar. Nothing too fancy right now, but uh, it gives a really great sound. So I installed that to my movie room. Again, you don't have to have a huge room to make a movie room. Uh, all you need is... You know, just a, at least 10 feet away you want to be. You want to get a nice set of movie theater chairs. And then you want to get that nice 100-inch uh, laser TV. And you got yourself your movie room. Uh, this this thing looks awesome, but you have to see it. We're going to show you in the dark what this thing With looks like. With the lights off, you could see I got like this little bit of light on the ceiling. Uh, it shows like the stars and all different colors. It looks really cool. It gives it that nice movie theater quality. You can see the chairs, of course, uh, light up. You can see that, but what everybody wants to see uh, is how this projector looks in the dark. So let's show it. And off. now we got this uh, really nice projector. This is the way it looks in the dark. 4K, looks beautiful. The picture is insane. I mean, this, this rivals uh, lots of TVs. Really great. Uh, it's Hisense L9G. Really great projector. Really uh, captures that movie theater quality. Very excited with how this came out and how the room came out. And, you know, this is definitely something, you know, if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy a $30,000 100-inch TV, 
you can go for still expensive but you know in the four or five thousand dollar range you can get yourself a nice laser tv which has really great picture great sound and it all works uh pretty much it's a hundred inch screen and it works with the lights on too you don't need to turn off those lights so that's really cool um again this is what i did with my home theater um tell me you know if you plan on doing a home theater what what would you do uh you know in terms of what kind of autographs would you put on your walls uh things like that you know would you go for a hundred inch screen would you even go even bigger uh depending on the size do you have a small room or do you have a very big room uh you know depending on the size of your room if you have a bigger room you could go even bigger on on the uh projector screen so it's really whatever you like whatever you prefer but uh it can be done so uh thank you for watching as always uh lots of autographs coming again very excited with how this came out um let me know what you think what you think of these uh the way the room came out pretty cool um again i painted the walls also blue dark blue i wanted to you know keep it dark um, I wanted to just keep the room dark. You got like that brick outer layer on the sides. Uh, I think it came out really cool. Of course, I can't put the sound in to show you the sound bar because, again, that's copyright and all that. But um, the sound's really amazing as well. So thank you for watching. And as always, happy collecting.